Today we will talk about how to negotiate when buying something while traveling. With a mini story, you can improve your fluency by engaging in a conversation. It's like talking to another person in English. Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, I'm Georgiana. Thanks for joining me for another episode of the podcast. My mission is to help you improve your fluency. And if you want to help me, please share the podcast. That would mean a lot. Thanks. Remember that you can get the text of this episode on my website, speakenglishpodcast.com. Okay, let's start. When you travel to a foreign country, knowing how to negotiate the price when shopping is essential. Here are some tips to help you get the best deal. Number one, do your research. Before you start bargaining, do your research. If handling is a custom in the country you're visiting, look up the item you want to buy to know what a good deal is. Number two, start low and work your way up. Make an offer lower than you're willing to pay. Then work your way up to a price you're both comfortable with. This strategy may help you to get the best possible deal, as the seller may be more likely to negotiate with you if you start low. Number three, make a counteroffer. Making a counteroffer means making a different offer than the one you initially presented. Number four, know when to walk away. Don't feel pressured to buy something if it's more than you're willing to pay. And number five, pay cash. To get the greatest discount, it's best to pay cash. Okay, let's take a look at an example of negotiating in English while traveling to another country. How much for this item? It's $500. That's too expensive. I'm on a tight budget and I'm looking for your best price. I can do 400 bucks. How far can you come down in price to meet me? I can go as low as $370. Can you work with me on this? I can offer you a friends and family rate of $350. That's not enough. Can you do $300 if I pay cash? Yes, I can reduce the price to $300 if you pay cash. That sounds great. I'll take it. Now that you have learned how to negotiate, you will be able to practice during your vacations. Let's continue with a mini story so that you can improve your spoken English. I will tell a story. By asking simple questions, I use this technique extensively in my premium courses, as it is highly effective. First, I say a phrase with information. Next, I ask some questions. After each question, there is a pause. It's your turn to answer. After each pause, I will give a correct answer. That's how I build a story. And if you want to improve your fluency much faster, check out my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. There are several levels. Okay, let's start. Sarah is a traveler who loves visiting local stores and buying souvenirs. 
Is Sarah a traveler? Yes, Sarah is a traveler. Does Sarah visit malls? No, no. Sarah visits local stores. Does Sarah buy anything during her travels? Yes, Sarah buys souvenirs from the local store she visits. Does Sarah buy souvenirs or groceries? Souvenirs. Sarah buys souvenirs, not groceries. She buys souvenirs to remember the places she travels to. Sarah believes she has a foolproof trick for getting the best price on every purchase. Does Sarah believe anything? Yes, Sarah believes something. What does Sarah believe? Does she believe she has a trick? Yes, Sarah believes she has a foolproof trick. Does Sarah have a trick for getting the worst price? No, no. She has a foolproof trick for getting the best price on every purchase, not the worst price. Who has a trick? Sarah. Sarah has a foolproof trick for getting the best price on every purchase. When Sarah goes to a store, she always tries to negotiate the price of an item, offering to pay half of the original price. Does Sarah always offer to pay half the price? Yes, Sarah always offers to pay half the price. Where does Sarah want to buy an item? From a market? No, no. Sarah wants to buy an item from a store, not a market. Does Sarah offer to pay half already knowing the original price? No, no. Sarah doesn't know the original price. She offers to pay half without knowing this information. Sarah is unaware that she is paying the total price. She is not getting a discount. As the sellers double the price every time she offers to pay half. Does Sarah pay half price? No, no. Sarah doesn't pay half price. Does she get a discount? No, no. She doesn't get a discount. She pays the total price. Is Sarah aware she's paying the original price?
No, no. Sarah is unaware of it. She doesn't know she's paying the total price. She thinks she's getting a fifty percent discount. Why doesn't Sarah get a discount? Is it because she doesn't want it? No, no. Sarah doesn't get a discount because sellers double the price. Sarah buys souvenirs and gadgets in faraway countries, making sellers happy and herself proud of her haggling skills. Does Sarah steal any souvenirs or gadgets? No, no. Sarah doesn't steal anything. She buys souvenirs and gadgets. Where does she buy them? In her hometown. No, no. She doesn't buy them in her hometown. She doesn't buy them in her hometown. She buys souvenirs and gadgets in faraway countries. Is Sarah proud of her haggling skills? Yes, Sarah is proud of her haggling skills. She believes. She can negotiate a fifty percent discount of any item she purchases. Well, this is the end of this short exercise. As you can see, answering many simple questions can improve your speaking, just like in a real-life conversation. This is one of the powerful techniques. I use extensively in my premium courses. These are complete programs designed to improve your fluency dramatically. The courses contain hundreds of hours of questions and answers and point of view lessons. Imagine a podcast episode multiplied by one hundred. So, if you are serious about learning English. I recommend my premium courses. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com/courses. That's all for today. I'll be back next week. Bye bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.